Hey guys, as uh, some of you may know, uh, I'm uh, mentoring a high school student uh, two afternoons a week in my workshop here at Homegrown Strings. And uh, yesterday I was uh, explaining to him how to go about uh, cutting the uh, holes for the neck in, in uh, a box and, uh, and how I go about bracing my box. Uh, and one of the things that I spent most of the time on was explaining to him uh, proper uh, joinery techniques and, and uh, how to measure and mark, uh, and more importantly, uh, how to cut uh, on a line so that you end up with uh, a really tight-fitting joint. Uh, you know, one of the uh, uh, signs of uh, good craftsmanship or good tight-fitting joints. Uh, and... Uh, uh, back in the day before we had uh, high-tech uh, uh, fasteners and, um, and adhesives, it was even more important. A lot of times things stayed together just because of the uh, outstanding joinery. Um, I uh, explained to him how to cut the, uh, uh, the holes in the, in the box for the neck, for the neck pass-through and how I lay it out. But I wanted to show you guys today... Um, uh, how I brace the inside of my box and how important this uh, this fit is for the neck. These are the only two braces I put in these boxes and uh, I um, sometimes I'll do the, the uh, neck going all the way through the, uh, through the through the box but um, you know the fit of the neck in these two pockets right here is extremely important. So uh, one of the ways I demonstrated to uh, Brendan uh, you know how to judge whether you've got good joinery or not is uh, you know, I actually place the uh, neck in the box and push it into place. And there's no glue. You saw me just put the neck in there. But I can shake this box around, and uh, that neck is in there tight. Uh, you know, that's no fastener. There's no adhesive. There's no tricks. But, um, uh, and when I do these uh, guitars, in most cases, if it's a guitar put together like this, I'll actually not glue the neck in the box. I'll take a uh, countersink a couple of screw holes and put two screws in it. In some cases I only do one screw. Uh, but that's what holds the neck in the box and if sometime in the future um, you know the box gets beat up or broken or whatever it's a real simple matter to, to take these screws out and, uh, and take the neck out of the box and, and uh, rework it. But um, uh, Anyway, I just thought some of you may find it interesting in uh, uh, how I put the necks in the boxes and uh, uh, how important the uh, proper joinery is. So uh, there's a lot of woodworking uh, sites on uh, YouTube and, and on the Internet that talk about proper joinery and, and how to uh, uh, mark and, and where to cut on the line. Uh, my good friend Billy Ailey uh, makes uh, uh, DVDs on how to... Um, Bill Cigar Box Guitars, and one of the things he talks about is how important a sharp pencil is. Um, the width of a sharp pencil line is the difference between a tight-fitting joint and a sloppy joint. So uh, anyway, if you get a chance, uh, take a look at uh, Bill Yaley's uh, uh, Facebook page, and uh, there's... Uh, uh, if you can't find him, you can go to my Facebook page, uh, and uh, he's one of my friends, so just click on that, and there are links from his Facebook page to his uh, site where he sells uh, DVDs on how to build cigar box guitars, and uh, at a future date, I'm probably going to do a, uh, a brief video that, um, uh, that goes through the, the explanations that I gave Brendan yesterday in the shop here, and uh, you know, how I... Uh, lay out the uh, the holes on the box and uh, how to go about determining which side of the line to cut on. Um, but that's uh, really important. Anyway, hope you enjoy this and I'll uh, see you soon. <laughs>